starting off the day just warming up to our barbell parallel squats, doing another three by three, going up in weight, and we're gonna see how that feels. So since we're going super heavy, going to three by three here, we have 355 pounds on, getting anywhere from three to five minutes worth of rest in between each of the, the sets. And that, that uh, large rest period is gonna be super important. We don't wanna rush that. We don't wanna just go a minute or two, really. Uh, I, I, I dial it down to the exact second, and uh, I, I try to hit that to make sure that our body is fully recovered for that set so we can bring our max effort into that. That's when we're going for max strength, we really want to increase those rep, uh, those uh, rest times. <laughs> on that second one, I didn't get three reps, I only got that, uh, those two reps. On that second rep, I wasn't locked in, I wasn't focused on that, I dropped two too fast and then all that momentum I had to catch at the bottom and it took a lot of a lot of strength out of me didn't have the confidence for that third rep need to control it down a little bit more keep the core locked and keep everything engaged so we'll see how we feel for this third set whether we're gonna get uh, two or three I'm not sure I just got to feel it out Parallel, you want to get this thigh literally should be parallel to the ground. So yeah, you're about right here. And when you're in those deeper ranges of motion, that's when the glutes are really going to kick in. And glutes are super important for, for jumping. So if you're only going, you know, a quarter range of motion or a little bit deeper and think you're getting parallel right here, the glutes aren't nearly as engaged here as they are here. So it's really glutes, 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 and then it starts to shift towards the quads, quads, quads. All right, we got 315 on the bar. We're gonna hit three reps at 315 and just trying to move it as fast as possible. Let's get to it. Yeah, it feels so light when coming off of 355. <laughs> All right, barbell deadlifts. We're going a little bit lighter than we did last time. I think we got, what, we got 275 on, uh, on the bar right now, and we're gonna try to not reset at the bottom of each rep, and we're gonna try to move it with some speed while still maintaining perfect form core activation. combination of speed, agility, quickness, jumping, upper body strength, lower body strength, and also being skillful at the sport. I think that that is what I would define as athletic. And like LeBron is probably the most athletic basketball player. If you combine all of those, he's, he's definitely in the conversation. But as talking about just straight athletes throughout the world, I still think that the most athletic person is someone that you've never heard of. I've been saying that for a while, and people don't understand. They'll be like, oh, if they were that athletic, then they'd play a sport. That's such a 
simplistic black and white way of thinking about things and there's so much that goes into making it to a professional sport, luck and and being seen. You know how many athletes there are that are freak athletes that are from other countries that never get the opportunities? So. It's Here we're back on the Smith machine. We got rear foot elevated quarter split squats. So we're going partial range of motion and we're going uh, really fast, five reps. And we're focusing here on the stretch shortening cycle. So we wanna uh, try to improve that by instead of going slow, we wanna use the elasticity of our muscles and our tendons, the, the energy that's stored uh, in it to, to kind of train that so that when we are on the basketball court with no weight, we'll be able to do that a lot quicker. If you guys are looking to improve your vertical jump, my world record jump program is 95 plus pages. We have hundreds of athletes on the program improving their vert right now. You guys can get that in the link in the description, the link in bio, or in the bio on my Instagram. So you guys can check that out, highly recommend it. It's what I used to get my standing vert from a 37 and a half in 2018 to a 46 and a half inch standing vertical now, which is tied for the best ever in history. So you guys check out the World Record Jump program. You guys won't regret it. Peace. Bringing ridiculous equipment in. I'm gonna have to make two trips. Yep, this is what the people don't see. It's Vertec time, everybody. We got all of this equipment in the gym, finally. And I was gonna set this up right next to the hoop so y'all can see exactly how high. Vertec in their Honda Civic and brings it out every week to the gym. No one does that. Maybe that's the difference, who knows? Get a couple reps standing, warm the body up, and then I like to go into my, my full approach. Start off maybe like a three step, a five step, and then build up all the way. Uh, maybe even get some single leg uh, max approach today. So we'll see how we feel. Let's see what we get for the standing. videos my my jumping ability isn't at its peak and not, not anywhere close right now because we're going through that strength phase so it'll be good to gauge where I'm at right now but I don't expect to be hitting my 46 and a half inch uh, right now so the goal is to kind of build that strength and then kind of start a peaking phase up until that dunk camp end of summer so that that's when I should be hitting the max so we'll see what we get here
seeing your vertical not be as high, like that's definitely a huge mental battle. So uh, just something that is a part of the a part of the process and you gotta get used to. But even to this day, it's still like, damn, I used to be jumping up there. But you sometimes you have to go down to go up. Yeah.